Neen Housing or Accent Group, they have sent us another statement. <laughs> yeah, we know we can't we can't shut them up now. We couldn't we couldn't open their mouths while the process was actually happening, and it would have given them a chance to influence the uh, result of the uh, findings. Hope, obviously, either a they are very very confident in getting the outcome that they want. So, so they didn't feel as though they needed to publicise their actual thoughts while the process was still open. But we are, we're actually, like we said, inundated with responses now. We've had another one. Let me just uh, bring it up on screen now. Bear with me a second, please. It's actually from a housing manager. We're not going to name them. So I'm going to read that to you now. Dear Mr. Newman, well, that's better, isn't it? A much better, a much better greeting than what I'm what I'm usually acceptable to regarding the last letters of a just plain old Mr. Newman. I write further to your email correspondence with your housing officer and your social media post. I don't know what she's going on about there. I don't know what she's seen, but it's not a social media post. It's content from a legitimate community interest company formed. So I don't know whether what she's trying to insinuate there by calling it a social media post. It is actually legitimate community content by an independent community media organisation in which you raise a number of complaints regarding Accent and Ashfield's estate. I have logged your correspondence as a formal complaint. <laughs> Never asked her to do that. I was just having to say the same as everybody else. And I'm responding to your concerns in this email. I understand that you have the following concerns. Number one, that Accent is consulting with residents over the possible introduction of controlled parking on the estate, which would be monitored by an Accent contractor. You allege, there's no allege at all, that Accent is installing a private security firm to monitor residents. That is exactly what's happening. Number two, that Accent does not remove large items of bulky rubbish from the estate. Again, that's not really true. They don't remove them unless you dump them outside, and then when you dump them outside, they remove them. Number three, that Accent has closed its local office and is developing flats on the site for open sale. Number four, that somehow all of the above are part, and she's, she's put this in brackets, I don't know why she's trying to uh, elude with that, money making racket so I don't know why she's felt the need to uh, put quotes there I don't know I will respond to your points in turn number one parking control we are consulting with residents over this matter as a direct result of residents complaining to us that there has been a significant increase in parking by non-residents using nearby facilities I've never seen that and I've said that to them on countless occasions. If implemented, Accent would make no money from this venture. So where does the money go? Nor would there be a cost to residents who had obtained a permit. Again, the key there is permit singular. There's only one. The estate would be monitored by a parking enforcement contractor. <laughs> what is the difference there between a security firm and an enforcement contractor? Oh, I love it. Who would ticket offending vehicles? Accent would not pay the contractor any monies for this initiative. So who is paying him? Depending on the views of residents, allowances could also be made for visitors to residents. But for the avoidance of doubt, there's plenty of doubt here, we will not implement a scheme unless there is a clear wish from residents for such a scheme. There will be no monitoring of residents and this is not some attack on the NHS. It's just making them, not allowing their workers to park here. It's not an attack, it's a, it's a disruption. It is simply a response to a number of complaints from your neighbours and an attempt to resolve a growing problem. You know my views on that, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Number two, Accent has never had responsibility for removing any large or bulky items of rubbish. This is a service provided by the local authority and I am aware that your housing officer has provided you with the details. We do occasionally have to remove fly, occasionally every week. We do occasionally have to remove fly-tipped rubbish. 
a service which we are obliged to pay for and therefore is ultimately paid for by the residents. That's fair enough. I'll pay it anyway. I don't mind. We believe that residents should take responsibility for the removal of their own waste and not expect to be subsidised by other residents. Again, accent in no way profits from this circumstance. She seems to have faith in her process. I think the process is flawed. I am being penalised for not fly tipping. And that is my point regarding this. Number three, Accent closed its local office but has moved to another city centre location. I was actually unaware of that. So I'm, I will be seeking clarification regarding where this location is and telling everybody. She's chosen not to tell me there. That would have been the perfect opportunity to inform us of where it is. But obviously they don't want to be found. Our previous offices were too large for our needs. And the cost of maintenance and upkeep was high. For broadly the same annual cost, we now occupy more modern offices, which are more conducive to modern ways of working. That sounds good. At, where are these offices? At the same time, we are developing our old offices into over 30 homes to rent. All of these homes will be allocated to people in housing need within Peterborough, in collaboration with the City Council. I would like to think that residents would support such an initiative, given the housing crisis this country is facing. Well, wow. speaks for itself. We've got, we're, we're, we're fair. If mean housing are doing good, we will say so. We are not out to smear mean housing. We are simply reporting the facts as we see them. So as a result of that, we will be emailing them soon to seek the clarification and try and get some actual facts into this. I'm not sure where your information has come from. It was just with my own eyes. I walked past it and saw it. But none of the properties will be sold on the open market. I just, saw, I just saw a development sign, to be honest. So all I said in my last update, I think, was it would appear that Neen Housing are developing their office for profit. They will all be for rent. I would also advise that Accent offers more ways to get in touch with us than ever before. You can contact us via the online customer portal, by phone or email, and we will also visit you by appointment if you wish. Accent is extending the ways you can engage with us not reducing them. That is very clever. Very clever use of the English language there. Number four, I hope I have demonstrated that none of the above are ways in which Accent is seeking to make money out of its residents or treat them with contempt, as you suggest. I certainly do suggest that. On the contrary, I would state that our plans are driven purely by a desire to improve services to our residents and to respond to and resolve issues as they arise. Very good. I, I couldn't really fault that response. I was happy to receive it. I was happy to share it with you all. Uh, my thoughts on it. It's, it's a fair document. It's a biased document. It's a, it's a need housing document. So I don't expect it to be in favour of their policies. I've got no problem with that. It's now up to us to put more flesh on the bones. Where is the office? How do people go to the office? I also mentioned in my reply about community spaces meeting rooms for res the residents to have meetings. It was another way I was thinking really of gaining their premises for a pre media CIC through maybe using a, a community space. So we're looking for clarification on that. I hope this, that this has provided you with some reassurance in this matter. Really? It's just propaganda, isn't it? If you feel that I have not adequately dealt with your complaint, you may escalate your complaint to the review stage and the regional director would review this matter. If you wish to do so, I would be grateful if you can set out your outstanding concerns and why you do not think that I have addressed them. Regards, Housing Manager Accent. So, that's a fair statement. We think, and thank you, we would like to thank Eneen Housing for that. So we are now up to date on that. We still do not know whether the private security firm is coming to Ashfields. Things like that. So hopefully we will seek further clarification, definitely regarding the office. Clarification will be sought. And we will get to the bottom of that. 